What is going on guys? We had a massive weekend. This is probably going to be a huge video, so hold on because uh, we're going on an adventure. Unfortunately, I didn't have the balls to chuck my GoPro in the water with me because I didn't want to lose it and I didn't want to get it in the way of doing things, but I really do wish I did it. Next time, I'll find a way to strap it on. We're going to figure that one out, so next time we can have some underwater footage, but this is just going to be a video about the whole adventure so um i hope you guys enjoy it and uh if you were there it was really nice meeting you and if i didn't meet you maybe i'll meet you next time and um yeah i'm just stoked i had such a great weekend so uh, yeah it was pretty cool so it's super duper early it takes like an hour to get there um not in traffic so it's freezing. I actually make a video about how I wasn't super duper nervous before I got there. And then when I got there, I started getting nervous. Uh, for those of you who know me, um, I'm super duper social and it would be crazy to think that I came across two people shy. And they did tell me that, um, that I, I, I presented very shy on the first day. I didn't know anybody there, literally 100 people and I didn't know anybody, which is crazy for me. Like I haven't been in a group that large and not known at least one person in a very, very long time. But I uh, ended up making some friends and uh, I'm, I'm so glad that I did it. I do not regret it whatsoever. So uh, yeah, just completed the first time, got my kid off, there we go, we're good. We're gonna go, uh, I think we're doing we're pulling rubbish out now, and then after that, we're ferrying rubbish from where we are to the bin. So I'm gonna have to go find where I'm supposed to be, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Let's do a little breakdown on how it works. The divers jump in, they swim down, they can fill up these sacks with little bits of rubbish, and if they find big bits of rubbish, the land support, which is what I'm doing here, uh, can chuck in some ropes we can connect more ropes to each other these guys here are bringing in a rope that's connected to a couple of tires um, actually no this was another truck tire as well and um, these guys over here were pulling out a couple of tires so heaps of tires down there and um, quite a lot of smaller rubbish that's the tire right there that we were pulling out um, if you want to pick up little stuff you can pick up little stuff if you want to pick up big stuff you can pick up big stuff and um, yeah uh, it was definitely a rush and I recommend that even if you don't have your dive ticket and you want to be involved in this, don't say you want to be involved in it. Tell people that you were involved in it and get involved in it because um, saying you want to do something and doing something uh, are very different and you'll feel way better actually doing it rather than wanting to do it. See? Yeah, we pulled up, the, seen a few tyres, truck tyres come up. Dope, dope, oh, and some weights, sick. Ed. <laughs> That's sick. Is this, is this the bucket of alive thing? Yeah. That's so good. <laughs> Settled itself on my knuckles and neck. Yeah, we found a few crabs down there. Are you on the important stuff? <laughs> Very <See>. much so. <laughs> oh, this is clean. It's Jesus. A new one. Oh, it's brand new. Yeah. Woo. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> So while we wait for lunch to be prepared, we're gonna go check out the sorting mat here. And uh, this is where all the rubbish that comes out of the water gets thrown into wheelbarrows, chucked in a trailer, or walked all the way over to the hub, chucked here, and it is sorted on this very mat. They jot down uh, on a piece of paper, kind of what we're getting, rope, tires, batteries, trolleys everything you name it it goes down on the piece of paper um and then all of the uh animals that have managed to make it this far 
uh, get put into a bucket and then released after so everything gets sorted through it's uh, not a nice job but uh, it needs to be done and these guys did a fantastic job uh, my job at the moment was to just help them out getting some of the heavier stuff into the bin because uh, it's a pain getting it out of the water but we also have to get it all the way to the bins so lunch was ready we dug in unfortunately i only ate one because uh we were in the water after it so i decided not to eat two even though i definitely could have the uh news crews came and um they did their bit and then uh we were all suited up and ready to jump in the water and start it all over again first dive down and uh it is like go 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 down here we just had lunch kitted up again we're getting ready to jump in the water and um it's gonna be sick i wish i had my gopro but uh unfortunately didn't have a gopro mask and i'm not holding one so uh, maybe next time and um yeah so i'm gonna go jump in the water I got stuff on my face yeah all right yeah it's so bad my hands stick but now we're gonna get ready and we're gonna jump in the water where are we going so second dive's done, regs held up good, so at least I know what I'm doing, right? I pulled them apart yesterday, because they were leaking, give them a bit of a clean and a slight adjustment. And um, I was having problems with them pushing air into my lungs uh, at depths of over three or four meters, and that no longer happens anymore. So that's dope. We're currently just walking to our next spot. Uh, both of our dives, well, both of my dives are done. And we've got the other people in there, but we need to get the rubbish out and back to the bins, which is like all the way down there. So, huh, good thing I'm fit, right? <laughs> hey, this area is go, 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 though, eh? Yeah, Holy shit. The least number of people helping. So my time in the water for the day was over and now it was just time to lug stuff out of the water, tire after tire. And we were talking about getting a massive tire and then we heard the call for somebody to run over to the other side and give them a hand and check out what we found. <laughs> that is a tire and a half, that is sick. We were literally just talking about it too. I was like, we need a big tire. <laughs> And a big tire we got. This thing was an absolute mission to get out. A small army uh, had to come to help that one. And um, but yeah, uh, thankfully we had access to these businesses, which was awesome of them to get on board with this. And um, without that, there's no way we would have been able to get some of this stuff back. Um, it just wasn't accessible by the road. And uh, yeah, that's the uh, end of day one for us. Tipping the bucket out for the last time. We got to say uh, see you later to all of the little critters that managed to get taxied up to the mat there. And uh, yeah, cleaned everything off and had to go home, clean all our gear and get ready for day two. <laughs> so that's it for the video. It's Monday now and I can't believe the weather has changed so much. I was out here trying to build stuff because um, it just, things can't stop. It's just a constant grind these days. But it's raining. After all the beautiful weather we had on the weekend, it's raining. Now I'm trying to do stuff outside. But, uh, well, that's a lie. I'm trying to make the video at the moment. So, uh, But I'm going to wrap up the first video. The first day, absolutely crushed it. But the second day... We crushed it. Unfortunately for the second day, I could only do the first half of the day and um, and then we had to bail, but I did end up managing to make it back after, um, for the after party. And so I managed to get back and check out all the rubbish that I managed to miss out on uh, helping with. But um, I think my legs and the bottom of my feet might help me. I have my skate shoes on and the jetty walking so far back and forth wheelbarrow after wheelbarrow after wheelbarrow ah uh, yeah day two was hectic but um I, i'm i was so happy that uh, i got to be a part of that now, i'm gonna keep an eye out for more cleanups and hopefully i can be a part of some more of these and hopefully i can have some more friends uh 
come along to these things can i know a few people really want to do these i've always wanted to do one and i've like never known the hookups or how to do it um realistically i've just never had the balls to bite the bullet and do it by myself and it was huge like it was it took everything for me to get there um and and not know anybody and i was so nervous uh that people were like you like you are very shy like you are a very different person on day two than you were on day one that is not like me at all which is humbling <laughs> humbling and I, I think other people should take it that like you know i do have very good social skills and they definitely helped me get through it way faster but even if you do feel uncomfortable you can push through it and if you keep pushing through it no matter how bad it gets you'll find something you will find somebody and uh you will you'll do what you set out to do so um thank you for sticking around for the video i'm gonna wrap it up here take it easy stay awesome and remember you can't fail if you try see you later I've been thinking about myself today Thinking how have I changed How I really don't care if you are here Or if you don't stay Now I'm feeling those winter blues But I don't want to cry Cause all we ever do is laugh it off And I'm sick and I don't know why But you look so fine Guess we have to agree to disagree For this one last time